All right, it's probably been a while since you've done a titration and we did the titration of vinegar lab in chemistry 111. And uh, let me just uh, review here really quickly what it's all about, uh, the, the chemical reactions, the experiment, and a little bit about the uh, titration. So sodium hydroxide is our base and re we react that with a monoprotic acid like acetic acid to give us sodium acetate and water. So it's an acid-base reaction. Sodium hydroxide will also react with potassium hydrogen tartrate. Hydrogen tartrate ion is a monoprotic acid. It's a weak acid that will react to give you the conjugate base and liquid water. Now, including the sodium ions and potassium ions is a little bit uh, confusing. So sometimes we leave those off. We might erase this potassium and just indicate the hydrogen tartrate ion there. And then over here on the product side, we might just write tartrate with a minus two, okay, charge. So, you know, the, the tartrate ion. So that kind of makes it more uh, clear and we'll, leave, we'll even erase this sodium here. And then, then it's very clear that hydroxide is your base, hydrogen tartrate's the acid, and it's that H there that's going to be removed, okay? So if we can calculate the moles of H, we therefore know the moles of hydrogen tartrate, which is equal to the moles of potassium hydrogen tartrate, the substance we're interested in knowing what its concentration is. All right, so now let's talk about the experiment a little bit. What you're going to do, or see me do if you're watching the video demonstration on the online class, is take a known concentration of the acetic acid, which is the same as the potassium hydrogen tartrate, okay? With a, uh, probably a pipette. And we're going to add that to an Erlenmeyer flask, along with some water and a drop or two of the phenolphthalein indicator, okay? So I'm gonna do this very quickly here uh, without really measuring things out too well, just so we can get some visualization and have an idea of what's going on, okay? So maybe this is like four milliliters of the um, acetic acid and it's dispensing in there. It smells nice, it smells like vinegar, okay? This is standard household vinegar. We're going to add a little bit of water. The purpose of this is just to dilute the solution a little bit so we have more to work with. The phenolphthalein won't be as intense, okay? put a drop of phenolphthalein in here, okay? And it's colorless, okay? So phenolphthalein is colorless in acidic solution, like um, acetic acid, all right? But when we add sodium hydroxide, drop by drop by drop, it, it'll gradually react with more and more and more acid until it's all used up. And then the next drop that hits the solution will then react with phenolphthalein to give you that purple color. So that's immediately when you wanna stop the titration. Now in this uh, very nice calibrated uh, burette here, we're going to add sodium hydroxide. And it's very important that you write down the molarity of sodium hydroxide of the stock solution, okay? Um, in this demonstration here, it's 0 0.1 molar, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and just Blast this in here until there's a color change, and then we'll uh, call it quits so we can see the color change, and then just do some calculations here, okay? And I think I'll need uh, about 40 or so milliliters of this stuff, so I'm gonna pretend like it changes uh, pink. I'll just show you what it looks like at the end because we're not really uh, critically worried about getting the data here. Uh, so you want to get to a very faint pink and, and don't worry if you're watching the video demonstration, I stop when it's a faint pink, okay? When it just turns pink, that means you've reached the equivalence point. The moles of vinegar are equal to the moles of sodium hyd uh, hydroxide, okay? So we start with the volume of sodium hydroxide and the mol molarity of sodium hydroxide to calculate the moles of sodium hydroxide. That's equal to the moles of vinegar and then we divide by the volume that we uh, measured for the vinegar to get the molarity of the vinegar. Let me show you that three-step process. And I'd like everybody to just show it as three separate steps. All right, so here's our data. 
This is completely fictitious, all right? But we're gonna pretend like we use four milliliters of acetic acid. We're gonna pretend like we used uh, 35 milliliters of the sodium hydroxide. And the sodium hydroxide is 0.10 molar in concentration. Okay. And we want to know what is the molarity of acetic acid. Okay. So write these numbers down, remember them. So step one, you calculate the moles of sodium hydroxide. So we start with uh, the volume that we dispensed. We said it was uh, 35 milliliters of sodium hydroxide. All right, and I like to put the chemical in there so you know what milliliters I'm talking about because there's two molarities, there's two milliliters and so on and so forth, okay? So it's this volume of sodium hydroxide. I need to convert that to liters. Please get in the habit of canceling your units so you can see things go along here. And then we want to use the uh, molarity as a conversion factor, okay? So this is the very important part here, okay? Molarity is code for moles per liter. Don't write this, capital M, because you can't see anything cancel. Write M-O-L. Write the chemical. Don't write vinegar, write sodium hydroxide. And that's per one liter. And now you can see the liter and the liter cancel. All right. And you want to calculate this out. It's probably easy to do in your head, but I don't want to mess up my video here and have to redo things. So I'm just going to punch this in. I get 3.5 times 10 to the minus three moles. Of what chemical? Sodium hydroxide, okay? So that's my final box answer with the correct sig figs for step one. Step two, you wanna convert moles of sodium hydroxide to moles of the vinegar or the acetic acid, okay? And we do that using the balanced chemical equation. In the balanced chemical equation, we saw that there's only one equivalent of sodium hydroxide used per one equivalent of acetic acid. Okay, and the same thing will be true in the uh, KSP lab. The KHT and the sodium hydroxide react one to one. So step two is to calculate the moles of your acid. That right there is the acid of my demonstration with the acetic acid. So we take this number in blue here. the lighter color which shows up better. Okay. And we know they react in a one-to-one -one fashion. All right, and a lot of students say, well, why do you even have to do that? It's just the same thing. Well, take 10 bucks to Europe and try to spend it as 10 euros. You're gonna have a trouble. 10 is 10, what's the big deal? Well, the shop owner in France is not gonna accept your 10 US dollars for that bagel or whatever, okay? So cancel out the units, okay? Yes, the math you can do in your head, but then make sure you write down the units, okay? It's 3.5 times 10 to the minus third moles of the acid. In the KSP lab, it's gonna be uh, KHT or HT minus or uh, whatever you want to call it, okay?
So I've boxed up that final answer for step two. Step three, three easy steps, right? Step three now is to calculate the actual concentration of the vinegar. For the vinegar titration lab, you actually wanna know what the concentration is. You can do some error analysis and whatnot. And in the KSP lab or the solubility lab, you wanna find out what the concentration is so you can plug it into the equilibrium formula and figure out solubility and stuff like that, all right? So step three, you wanna find or calculate the concentration of acetic acid. Now remember, this whole experiment demonstration started out with us adding four milliliters of the vinegar into our uh, Erlenmeyer flask for titration. So that's what we want to use. And I'll just write acid here, okay? Now we want to convert that to liters. Let me show you why. What we want to do is plug this into the molarity of, uh, formula, okay? Molarity is equal to moles divided by liters. Okay, and that's what we're trying to calculate, right? So we just calculated the molarity on the previous slide. It's 3.5 times 10 to the minus three moles of acetic acid okay. divided by this number here, and that's liters of acid. I'm just gonna write, well, I should rewrite the formula. Okay. Nothing cancels there. It's moles per liters, and the abbreviation for that is capital M. So let's calculate this on our calculator. Um, and I get 0 0.875. Uh, let's round it to two sig figs because this is made up data anyway. I'm going to round it to 0.88. And for your units, you can just type or write capital M. And let's write our acid. Okay. That in a nutshell is what you're going to do with the potassium hydrogen tartrate lab. Um, I hope this helps you review titration. Thanks for watching. Please like, give a thumbs up as usual. Take it easy.